Hey guys, today I, I will give you a review on uh, what I think are the best artillery gems in the game, starting from the gold. Um, in the gold, there are really no good generals. There are some tanks, very expensive, as I showed you in the previous guide. The only two generals to consider are the one I have, which is Conan, is the best artillery general in the game. He has a maximum artillery, of course, a speed of four, not bad. A bit of versatility, because there's a four infantry attack, upgradable to five. And uh, he has a really great uh, artillery skills, which are real artillery leader and accuracy. Raider is a waste, uh, because it applies to infantry. It's a shame, this is really the only gap of Corinth. And uh, then he has a two free slots, I put him Rumor, critical, and Machines, because artillery generals have very low health. The artillery units normally are half the health of tanks, and so this type of skills are very useful. And uh, also it's super cheap because you do the 40% discount if you do the Conev challenge and you get it for like 1,400 medals. Totally worth it. The only other gold general available that really is worth it is uh, Jukov. Jukov is uh, in up though, you need to pay with the real money, so I don't know if you want to do it. Similar to Manstein, he's an in up but does not have rumor, which is the most important skill. Big miss. Artillery, maximum. Speed, maximum. I mean, five, almost maximum. The maximum is six. But also is maximum infantry. And even a decent tank. So also at the beginning, if you don't have a strong tank roster, you can use the juke of potential. Yes, artillery leader, accuracy, and explosive. These are all perfect. And artillery barrel. These are the four perfect artillery skills. So that's really good. And it comes already very high rank. Now I upgrade him to Marshall, of course. Uh, but it costs money. Um, the only other, we have Rumstead. He's an infantry general. Still has a three star for artillery and a four star in mobility in theory. But again, the skills are not very good. That could have been the only other option if you are desperate in the gold. Instead, there are a very uh, ample choice in silver and bronze. In silver, I've identified five generals, which are totally worth your spending. The first one is in my roster, it is Leb, because in my roster I cannot see the cost, but the cost was uh, uh, 1,600 medals, more or less. So he has five-star artillery. It's very slow, but because it's a good general, it's worth invest. You can upgrade his pill up to five, stars and he has artillery leader and rumor already and then I add him explosive because there's a free slot. Um, you know, he starts with the um, lower rank as well so you need to spend a bit of money to upgrade him but it's very good in this range. The other one that is good is Alexander. It's 1700 medals and what we can see is a five-star artillery, three-star upgradable to five in mobility. He's a colonel already, so very high health. And uh, he has an uh, artillery barrage. The other crossfire, counter-attack when you attack, and then he has a free slot. That you should, again, you should add the rumor, very important. Then, Especially the star of Gloria Generals. Here is not a star, but still quite good. Govorov, six stars in artillery, only two in mobility, so slow. He has explosive and artillery barrage plus an extra slot, but already 2,135 medals, and he's only captain, so you need to spend money to upgrade his rank as well. So not as good as Gloria of Generals, but I mean, still. It's a worth uh, candidate to consider. Then the other record is Zhang. Zhang is a five star artillery, three star available to four in mobility. He has artillery leader plus a free slot, and even ace forces. He has some use, and the cost is a reasonable 1,680 medals. And then the last one is Dowding. The, record, the reason I recommend Dowding is. If you do the challenges, you can get it 40% discount for 1,341 medals, very, very cheap. 
he is the best general for Air Force with the Eisenhower and Yamamoto. No? So he has the maximum Air Force with also Air Force leader. But he has three star in artillery, upgradable to four, with explosive and a free slot. And again, also the mobility can be upgraded. So imagine you have an artillery, and when his health is low, you can place him in a city and launch all the air attacks from that city to leverage his air force. So think about the combination of artillery and air force, and then it makes him a very good general to have in your roster. Then if we go in the bronze, there are also here four generals, which are worth considering. Starting with Badoglio, not Badoglio, Badoglio. Uh, it costs 1,245 medals. He has a five-star artillery, two-star mobility, but <clears throat> upgradable to three. You know, we Italians are not super fast, but after a cup of espresso, we we'll go faster, I guess. And artillery leader, uh, and artillery barrage as well. So that's two very good artillery skills. Then I recommend the Terauchi. Four star, upgradable to five. Two star mobility, upgradable to three. <clears throat> Captain level, and he has accuracy. So much worse than what we saw Badoglio, but is also cheaper, 925. So it's 300 medals less. Then I reco Blamey. Blamey has a three star, upgradable to four. It's quite fast, mobility four, upgradable to five with artillery leader and artillery barrage, and is only 715 medals. And the last one is the goal. It goes 1,150 medals, four star artillery and three mobility, with artillery barrage and rumor, and already the grade of a colonel. So a bit expensive for a bronze, but with a good skills. Hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click like. Thank you for watching.